What's up, y'all? It's God Queen Tyreen, and I am playing a uh, Pizza Tower Championship Edition clone version, and I'm playing <laughs> Sonic Frontiers. Um, everyone's least favorite game because Video Game Donkey and Jim Sterling said so, and we only have to listen to people. Uh, with big platforms, so, um, and that's why they're right. <laughs> uh, I already beat the game. This isn't going to be, like, a full playthrough. I am going to play through the cyber stages, the rush modes. Uh, I'm just exploring the DLC, pretty much. Um, what's weird so far, coming back to this after beating it, is that, uh, I, I had to set a completely different capture style for... Um, for Sonic Frontiers, everything else on OBS uses like window or full screen application or game capture. Here, like, I have to set it to full, like, monitor capture just so it fucking finds the game. Um, and I'm just gonna give my quick, like, rundown opinions of how I feel about this game. Um, I don't think it's that bad which i know what is this which i know sucks but like um it's really all you can say <laughs> about modern sonic games is that you know this one is pretty good or it doesn't suck or it's not bad it's like it, it, i think it's just fine for a new game to come out and just be okay like there, I don't know what it is. There's this expectation that something with hype attached to it has to be the best thing ever or else it's shit. Like, there's no middle ground. And I think that's bullshit whenever, like, talking about this game. Like, I don't think just that that's, like, a fair thing to, you know, do for something like this. Like... Some people would say that Mario Odyssey is just okay, or Breath of the Wild is just okay. Like, really big first-party titles can end up being just okay, and that's fine. Um, obviously this series is trying, this game is trying, like, something new for the series. Which isn't, is new for the series, but not new for the world. <laughs> and that's kind of lame, in my opinion. Um... I really love this engine. Like, when I first turned on the game, I was so, like, excited that you could just run around in a full circle as Sonic. Like, compared to all the other Boost era games where he's just running, he, he's so stiff. Like, everything is designed around the Boost, so you're just going in a linear stage and you're not, like, really platforming. And it doesn't, it's not that exciting because the boost, you use the boost to get through, just like F-Zero. Yeah, I know. And I, I did kind of predict how this game was going to go, um, like, before it was even coming out. And, like, in terms of the story, like, you, you actually do save Tails, Knuckles, and Amy and a mysterious new fourth character. <laughs> um, or, you don't really save the fourth character... Uh, this is also going to be spoiler ridden, so if you don't want spoilers, probably just get the fuck out of my face. Um, the mysterious fourth character, Sage, who's an anagram of SEGA. <laughs> um, but yeah, you you fight this game's version of like the Guardians. and Which is weird, because like, killing the Guardian doesn't really save them. If I have that right, because when you you beat the Guardian and you move on to the next zone, and then, but like if you come back here for the this is the first level for example, the first area, you see a bunch of like Amy cutscenes still here. It's like, well, I saved Amy. Why are they even still here? Uh, so I thought that was bizarre. <laughs> There's a lot of just. I don't think this game is like poorly poorly made. I do think there's a lot of odd design decisions, um, which some of which they fixed for the free DLC um, content in this one. For example, I know Gerard was complaining about how when you go upgrade Sonic at the Elders, 
you have to do it like one level at a time and for this update this is wave one also like there's more stuff coming i hope that's gonna be good um is that you once you upgrade it does it all at once instead of one fucking level at a time like that like it's a little bit too late because i already beat the game but i am glad that they fixed it and actually listened to feedback it's like I, there's a lot of stuff that isn't just gonna save the game for me um for example this whole environment it's like the environments in this game are so bland i'm sorry <laughs> Like, how do we go from, like, fun level design from, like, Sonic Heroes, like, Hain Castle, Bingo Zone, you know, the usual Sonic level archetypes. There's, like, forest, chemical plant, and then some couple of weird ones, and, like, they're really diverse, and the spooky level, and then the, the, ro you're riding a rocket level or something, I don't know, to basically worse high roll <laughs> and the thing is all of these environments all of these uh let me get out of here all of these um like zones um these could have all easily been the same continent and, and you wouldn't have fucking tell the difference like i i'm i think it's cool the idea is to section it off into zones that way it just doesn't feel like they're just doing Hyrule, but I, I do wish the locations were more, like, exciting. <laughs> like, they're all just big, vast, open fields with not much going on in them. There's seagulls. If you like seagulls, you'll, you're eating good in this game, okay? <laughs> if you like weird little, um, definitely not Koroks <laughs> in this, you'll, you'll definitely like this game, um... And you know this this game does have like a this game does have a, a loop attached to it. Like you're you, they actually make Chaos Emeralds as part of the you know the level, and there's stages sprawled throughout, and there's these like these big ass mini bosses in the background. Like I dig most of the ideas in in this. I just I don't like the environment. Uh, in yeah, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's just, like, the surface level stuff. Uh, I forgot what I was going to do, which was... I'm going to hunt down the music notes that they added in this game. Starting with that one. And, okay. So you can do that. Like, that's nifty. Um, it has been frustrating seeing people play this on their big YouTube channel. And they're just like, oh, Sonic's out of control. He just doesn't do what I want him to do. But it's like, he's the most, like, controllable he's ever been. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain. Like, I guess you're just dumb. If you if you think, like, Sonic has a mind of its own. And he just doesn't do things right. Like, okay. The only thing that's annoying that I can, like... Ex uh, prove right here, or not with this guy, but I'm gonna kill this guy real quick. Woo! Die. Is that when you run off a ledge or a cliff or something, he goes into like trick mode, and that's when he becomes like. That's when he comes like just stationary in the air, and all you can do is tricks. Um. Oh, yeah, just sometimes it just happens. Or sometimes I don't think I'm about to run off, but then I do. And then I'm like, oh, I am guess I'm um, doing tricks now, even though that's not what I wanted to do. That's the only thing. Like, he grabs all the things right. You can jump on rails and zip and get off pretty easily. Like, it, it's all very fluid. And in the tutorial, the game tr does try to teach you... Like, how to do fluid movements and, like, get on and off things and, like, react to just what's happening. And that's... I thought that was nice. And the tutorial, every time there's, like, a tutorial thing, the, uh, the game, like, in the upper right corner just goes, like, Hey, you want to practice this real quick? And then once you get it, like, you're on... You're right back in. There's not, there's not a ton of loading. Which is cool. 
Um, and I guess what it does is like it loads the whole area, and then it, you can just like go from there. Like it's good. I really think this engine works. I just I hope the next game like utilizes some of this feedback and you know doesn't try to ape Breath of the Wild. That's the only thing I can really say. Um, in terms of... Oh, did I get the music note? Yes. Uh, I need to go to the next one. Uh, sorry, getting back on track. Like, the loop of using the Chaos Emeralds as part of the... Like, the structure of the level is a neat idea. Um, there has been, like, these weird fucking... Like out of place mini games in a lot of these, or uh, for example, in the first one, there there'd be like landmarks you need to platform to get to, to get the Chaos Emerald, and I get that, and you need like one of the many. Um... Why are you saying this to me now? Um, that's. Why are you telling me this now? I beat the game. This this information is useless to me. Okay, that's another dock. That's another dock against Final Sonic Frontiers. Oh my god. I can't even like speed this up or skip it. It's just it's happening. I can't I can't do anything about it. Like I already know this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But you you need um keys to open the the um vaults. No, you need um gears to open the vaults, which are the levels, which are definitely not shrines from Zelda. And then once once you do enough like objectives within the stages, you get keys, and those keys open the the Chaos Emerald cages. And then, but some of them aren't just those. Like some of them are attached to mini games. And I was, as I was saying, like, they're very tone-changing. Like, y you have this, like, very somber, melancholy area, like, the whole game. Or tone the whole game. And then and suddenly the music kicks up, and it's, like, jazz. And it's like, hey, collect all the... Cut all the grass in this spot and save the little Korok dudes. Like, what? And then you get a Chaos Emerald from that. It's like, what? What if I... What do we... What? Um... I don't have that much of a problem with it. I just think... I just wish it was... If that's going to be a mini game, fine. I don't want it to be attached to getting the Chaos Emeralds. Like, each Chaos Emerald should have a spot in this level. Like, look at, all the, look at all this space. You're not using it for all the Chaos Emeralds. That's, an odd, that's a stupid nitpick. I know. But I do love the, the formula for these. Like... It gives you a reason to play the levels. It gives you a reason to do good in the levels to get more of the things. And then, you know, it you get to the game better. It's like, it feels like you're doing good. Like, you're progressing. It's not just, like, whatever, <laughs> you know? Um, I don't know what that means exactly, but you just have to... You just gotta know, you know? Um, I I think I, to I was trying to touch on this, but I, l I love how Sonic moves. I love his big move set. He has a big move set this time around. Um, it, it's hard to remember like some of the combinations for things. In fact, I wish they were like simultaneous button presses. But um, fuck. I, like okay. <laughs> like I don't really know what I'm doing right there. But, uh, it, there's, like, a button combination for each, um, thing. Why is this so hard? He's just a guy. Oh, unless this enemy is, like, actually super-powered. Okay. I'm gonna do some fancy footwork here. Oh, he moved. Oh, okay, activated this. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Uh, we're not doing with you. I want to kill this guy, because he's making me mad. Okay, now he's dead. Uh, we can kill the Asura real quick. Woo! 
It, uh, you know what's another thing? Okay, before I get on that, so I, I like Sonic's move set. They're upgradable. Um, I don't see what the point of like having it like to unlock skills when I think instead of like having things to upgrade, they should just build the game around like the things he can do. So that way you're not like doing them at weird times. Um. At, like weird moments in the game like that I would consider like this is kind of late for that I wish I would just like have this you know and see how quickly I did that shit yeah er. alright but yeah um I wish all of these things were just like part of Sonic's moveset cuz you get I still have leftover skill points and then the game is over like I, I don't think this needed to be here, really. Um, it, it's like an objective thing to like go for, I guess. But I wish like Sonic's moveset was just complete. And I, I don't care for this whole leveling system in the bottom corner over there. Like, it, it doesn't need it. Like, my level is... My speed is uh, 90, 38. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Um, and the ring count, like, I have... You, you don't... You never lose... Well, that's not true. You lose some of your rings, but, like, there's so many easy ways to get rings in this game. Like, you can find them on the stage. You can do, like, loops for emergency. Um, is it, you can just get, like, a few rings. It, it's kind of... But, like... And it's, this whole loop mechanic is fine. Um, I would equate this to Mario's uh, hat mechanic. It's just something you can do, and they build some of the game around using it. And I, I do appreciate that. Um, like, you know, in Mario Odyssey, you use the hat to interact with everything. And uh, you, in this game, you kind of use the loop to interact with everything. But everything every time I watch someone play it, it's like, they're like, I don't know, this thing is reacting when I walk up to it and do nothing. It's like, okay, did the game just told you, like, to use the side loop to interact with things? And you want to sit here and be like, oh, no, the game's not working, brr. I hate that shit. Uh, the light dash is in this game, but, um, it, that also is, like, whatever. <laughs> I do love that you can do tricks. Tricks are back, baby. This guy scares me. Because when you kill him, he, like, he chases you for a really long time. Okay, let's see. Oh, fuck. The game is slowing down for me because I have a bunch of shit open. I have OBS open, I have Firefox open, I have Steam open. <laughs> um, I think early on the game had bad uh, draw distance problems but uh i think it uses as much as it needs to like and also the surrounding area around sonic is rendered but once you get like further away and you don't you're not even like next to it it's like it doesn't show up and it conserves memory that's good unlike fucking pokemon scarlet and violet where you can things can be like three feet away from you and then they start to despawn or de-render like okay come on <laughs> <sighs> um, about the collectibles, I I have beef with the collectibles in this game. Okay, so at the top left, there's memory trinkets, um, and then there's uh, keys and the gears. Like, there's not there's not a fixed amount based on like what how many things there are in the in the stage like you can have excess amount of things and it, i hate that like uh, it's like imagine super mario 64 and you can hit a block if you want to see if there's any stars in there you need to progress um or like super mario sunshine or just be like uh science prize blue coins like pretty much anything you need to progress it's just in there and that's how it is in this game. There's like spots you can use the dig for with the side loop and 
just you can get sometimes get a key a gear or a memory token to advance the next like character cutscene it's like well do you want me to do the fucking things around here or not like i hate that and if the area is complete fine like it's that's what you do with games you complete them i don't like that there's like excess amount of stuff um especially since uh can i make that nope i could have if i wanted to but yeah it's just i i feel like that's an odd design choice to allow players to reach an excess amount of things like i i, I don't know how to explain it especially when you have so many like platforming objectives here like yeah i i know the environment's like messy and it looks like fucking gary's mod over here but um uh that those things is where you go to get the the memory tokens originally and um what i think is also lame is uh when there's no there's not much of a fanfare when you pick them up they just kind of like flash around you and they go back inside your body it's like well what was that um they do like the oh, a text window comes up like once is this enough height no it's not um uh, let's see here and i do like this part right here where i'm trying to figure out like how to reach a spot and i'm like, looking around to see where i can what i can use the platform like that's that's game right there oh there's a spring i forgot about that Whoa. oh it goes over here okay i forgot um how do you get to the island let's see and this is what my experience was with uh, Mario Galaxy, or not Mario, maybe Mario Galaxy also, but like, um, with Mario Odyssey, I'm like, uh, using the environment to like, get somewhere, and that feels good and fun. Uh, oh wait, oh, now I remember, okay. I, I remember doing this once, but I, uh, I didn't think that I would ever do it again. <laughs> Alright, so with this thing, you have to hit. What do you want me to do? Oh, yeah, you can, like, build a little bridge with the, okay, with the things. That's, that is cool <laughs> that I remember. And you can jump off right here. Uh. See, that, that shit is fun, okay? That's fun to me. That's platforming. That's a fucking platformer. That's what you fucking do <laughs> in these things, all right? Um, well, what's our next one? But yeah, about the collectibles. Like, I, I wish that there was a finite amount of them. That way I know that I completed the area. And um, when I beat the game, I came back to find all those things. The memory, because... Uh, for each like area there's a, a memory token i already got them all so they're not going to show up here but you can see them on the map and then mark it and then you can go to the spot and see where you need to go it's like oh is it above me below me or is it here is it there is it underneath something and that's fun but there's not you do you don't get anything for getting them all and i only did it for the first world and then when I found out you don't get anything, I didn't want to do them. So, oh, it's underwater. Um, another pet peeve is that when you run out of oxygen, there's no... Uh, there's no jingle for when you fucking run out of oxygen. Except for this beeping. That's it. That's all you get. Sonic drowned, okay? He's dead. When Sonic is around with water, be sure to fucking breathe to not die as fast. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog! Sonic the Hedgehog! Uh, yeah, and... There's another thing. There's, there's a big the problem. Big the cat problem with this game. I'm gonna go over there right now. Their problem with this game, which I think is this. I didn't think it was a problem at first, 
but this is one of the ways in which you can not play the game and do the platforming and just get the things you need. And I think that sucks. Welcome back. I'm Big Dick Cat. And see, like those things up there, you can get the portal gears, the memory token, and the key. And at almost like. It's just like maybe like an hour or half an hour of just doing this. You can get like anything in each zone. And I, I hate that. Like why did they bother designing the environments if you could just like take the shortcut and not do anything? Like, ah, that's so annoying to me. It's like in Mario, there's like things you don't have to do, but everything you do goes towards something. And this is in this thing, it's just here's a way out of even doing the minimum effort. It's like, Jesus Christ, come on. The only thing left for me to get is the re the seeds, which I can max out my power and speed with, but I don't care. Um. And you can get more cocoa. I don't even know what they do. Like, what? I don't even know what the point of getting more of them is if the game is over. I, I, I really don't. <laughs> or actually, I probably can't get any more because I maxed out my, uh, my attack and defense. And the seeds upgrade your speed and ring count or something. And it's weird that some of these things even represent these things. Like... In the first zone, it is kind of confusing that there's the memory token hearts, which represent Amy, and the uh, the power-up hearts, with the, the red ones with like spikes on them. It's like, okay, there's two different hearts. And I, I guess I wish that like the items representing the characters were different things. Also, yeah, like I said earlier, it had much more of like a fanfare attached to them. Like, in Mario Odyssey, when you go get a moon, it doesn't just, like... There's usually, like, a um, a little jingle, and it tells you the objective in which it was. It's like, oh, you found the thing inside, under the rock. Or, like, the rock behind the house moon. And everything is marked with, like, where it is and what, what you do to get it for. Um... And here, it's just like, things are just like floating in the air, so I can see why there wouldn't be like a landmark or ob objective tag ag attached to it. It's like, what did you do to get this? Oh, you just rode some rails and jumped in the air. Like, okay. Um, that's not like much. <laughs> so, I guess I get it. Um, what is that thing in the air? Oh, okay. It's, a, it's the world. Uh, <laughs> it does look kind of weird. I, I would have to be blind as a bat, uh, as blind as Rouge the Bat to not just see that, like, sometimes the environment, like, looks kind of grody. Um, or just, like, things, like, unceremoniously just dropped. Like, I, I get this rail. There's, like, in every zone, there's a central rail system. That you can use to uh, get around the island pretty fast. And you know, at first, I thought it was weird that um, there was no fast travel. And I was like, oh, that's right. I'm a fucking blue hedgehog who runs fast. I don't... You are the fast travel. <laughs> and... I, I get the main rail, but then there's a bunch of other shit in the air that isn't, that isn't like, quite coherent. Um, I was worried that... It was gonna, just gonna look like this, and I guess it just does. I, I, there's no rhyme or reason for why these, the other rails hang in the air like that, but, um, there's nothing you can do. Another annoying thing is that when I get really far away from an enemy, Sonic is sometimes still in battle mode, and I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm done with that thing. Oh, it's like right there. Is that the only thing left in this zone? Yeah, that's the only thing. Or are, are we? I don't see it. Oh, it's all the way up there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 
And another the only thing is that I was watching Lyle Rath play Sonic Frontiers when it was out, and he was writing one of those central rail systems. He was like, why is there just, like, a random rail sticking out here for no reason? Like, did this game finish? Like, they just put a random rail here. It's like, oh, my God. I, I'm pretty sure there was, like, a text window before that explaining what that thing was, and he just... <sighs> I don't know. Sonic... No, it's just, like, most... Video games require you to pay fucking attention to them. <laughs> and sometimes people don't. And they're just like, oh, uh, I guess this is happening. You know, they sound exactly like a fucking James Gunn character. <laughs> well, that just happened. Uh, did the game meant to do that? Uh, yeah, that's what I think. Uh, I don't remember how to get up here. Um, let's see. I see it up there. I don't know how. Wait, where does this go if I go here? And it goes down. You know, it's pretty easy to switch. It's pretty easy to turn around also, which is nice on rails. And it's also easy to like recover from something too. It's like you fall off or something. Cause you always have a jump, and a, when you when you boost, you go up in the air just a little bit, so you can kind of use it as a second jump. Um, and I think that's really underrated. Oh, here we are. Ooh, let's see if I can. I got it. It's fist bump, the theme song from Sonic Forces, baby. I got all the music notes here which now i'm going to go to eddie's island and you know the game has really short loading times it's, or maybe between areas yeah of course but um when you're fast traveling like no time at all and i i can't say the same for breath of the wild L lately when i try to play it like whenever i fast travel that's another like two minute loading screen it's like jesus christ uh, let's see. What do I still have to? Oh, I have to get this one right here. Boo. Oh, I do wish there was a way that uh, actually that was such fine. I was about to say like I wish you could like unlock off of enemies when you don't want to fight them, and that there was it just there. Like I. I just got out of it. <laughs> uh, what else is here? Music notes, music notes, music notes. I think I got the rest here. It's okay. Okay, another example. Like, you see all those metals? Those represent knuckles for some reason. And I... I don't know. Um... Yeah, I know that if you... So I can't upgrade my speed anymore. I, I, do, I, I don't know why you would want less speed, so I don't want to trade rings for speed count when, like, the ring count doesn't really matter. Um, you can... If you get max rings, then... I believe you have infinite boost, which you can also just do by doing an infinite symbol uh, in the ground like that. Or I didn't do it right. Yeah, so now I have infinite boosts. Or I think you're a little bit more faster um, with the max ring count. But like, look at this. Look how I'm boosting and yet I can control myself. Like, you can't do that in most other previous Sonic games with boost on it. Like I love that. I I wish I wish there was a um oh that's not fair to say. There is a game attached to it. I just wish this was like more exciting. Um in you know, like I was saying, this island could have easily just been a part of that previous island, like right next to it or something. Um Yeah, I I think that's all I'm gonna say for now. <laughs> Okay, so, but yeah, the 
these symbols here, they all represent Knuckles for some reason. And <laughs> you know what's funny is even in the, the tw Sonic Twitter takeover, they talk about like the the uh, trinkets that represent the characters and even Sonic's like, oh yeah, uh, Knuckles is as a metal for some reason. Well, yours were wrenches because you're a brilliant engineer, Tails. Amy's were hearts because she has a heart of gold. Knuckles were medals for some reason. And even they can't answer that. <laughs> so, I, yeah, like, yeah, I, I did them all. I got all Amy's things on the first zone. And I, I now know what happens, which is nothing. So I don't want to go through with getting all of these here. Um, but yeah, I do like, if these all actually meant anything and there was, you, you, you were able to get these all and have proof that you got all of them and you got something for, it, I don't know what it would be, then these would be fun to go for because this is like hunting the moons in Mario Odyssey, but like these like collectibles aren't that super amazing. Like I do like the cycle of, uh picking a spot to go hunt down and then platforming all the way over there and then looking around to be like okay where does it want me to go oh it wants me to end up there and i'm looking around for something and like oh you go on top of this big fucking half pipe here it's not even a half pipe it's just a big loop Then you run up, you get the thing, woo! And then, like, you do a little obstacle course to get them. Like, I like that. I wish it meant something, because <laughs> the game is already over. And then, like, uh, I, I wish there was, like, a finite amount of things you needed to complete, like, Knuckles. Like, you would think that getting all of his trinkets would be the thing that saves Knuckles. But, like, you, all you need to do is beat the boss. You don't have to even worry about these things. It's like... <sighs> uh, wasted. Wasted potential. But I like this the game cycle of doing that. I'm going to get this last music note and call it a day. Okay, I made it. Hi! It's Mushroom here, oh boy. Well, uh, that concludes this video. Next, I'm gonna get the music notes on my own. That's not the most exciting thing to get. Um, and next time I'm going to go play some actual fucking stages.